Hello and welcome. Today we are going to demonstrate opening a program that has been provided to you. We're going to save some points and then run the simulation so that you better understand how that works. If you are provided a project for RT Toolbox 3, it will probably have to come as a zip file because there are numerous files and directories that are part of the workspace that have to be saved for the software to work correctly. And so the easiest way to share that is via the zip file. Mine is called intro video.zip. If I double click on it and drill into it, you can see that I have a robot, a videos folder, some other files. Under the robot file, I have a whole bunch of additional folders. And this, as well as a program folder, which has my program in it, I can open that up. And we're going to, let's see. It is a text file, so you can just use Notepad. And so we're just moving through five points. We're finishing. And here are the definitions of the points. So after you have gotten into your zip file, you will want to take the folder for the project and place that wherever you are keeping your projects. And then when you go to open within the software, we can go to browse. And in my case, I have it under documents, documents. 4474, labs. You do not want to go all the way into your video. Tell it to go to demos. Here's my intro video. Tell it OK. And it will open stuff up. There's my program. We can go ahead and start the simulator. And once that has loaded, you will see simulation up here. And I have my program. I have my view of my robot. Move things around to make yourself happy. And the five points that we're using are here. And all I have to do is select a point, get current position. Well, nothing's changed because X850 is the max reach. But if I come down to jog and I change this to XYZ and I reduce my X and say get current position, you'll notice my X has changed. I can move in the Y, get current position. Now my Y has changed. I could do my Z, so on and so forth. And so you can move the robot to where you want it to, select the point, and be able to tell it to save that location. So point two, get position. Get current position. Again. And we'll just do that. So at this point, now my points are all different. I can tell it to save. You want to save everything, um, command lines and position variables. And now if I come over here and click on start, I nothing happens because I've not selected my program to run. I can select my program, tell it OK. Select Start, 
And you'll notice in the 3D monitor, the robot is moving through the positions. Because there is a halt command, it runs once and it will stop, and I would have to manually start it again to do it a second time. Without that halt instruction, it will loop continuously and look like you've written a program that has automatically looped, and the reality is you haven't, um, but it, it does give that impression. If I hit stop, wherever it is, it will stop. So that's all for this video. It's pretty straightforward. The biggest challenge is making sure you save that zip file and extract everything out so that it maintains its directory structure and then go ahead and open up your project. Okay, thanks for now.